the same as a wave. So that means that the wave is flowing through the circuit. Okay. And it's only the wave, not the electrons, that are that's flowing through the circuit. The flow of the current from this battery through this wire to the light bulbs and back around is equal throughout the same thing, and the light both of the light bulbs will have the same amount of lightness through it. From point A to point B, there is a difference in potential called voltage. It is measured by the voltmeter. An electric circuit is the flow of electricity through a closed loop. There are two different types of circuits, a series circuit and a parallel circuit. A series circuit can be demonstrated by a battery connected to light bulbs and then connected back to the battery. A parallel circuit can be demonstrated by water flowing and then when it comes to a rock it flows around the rock and then it flows back together at the same speed it was. There are two types of current. The first is AC, which is alternating current, and then DC, which is direct current. In alternating current, the electrons vibrate back and forth, and in direct current, they move the same direction the entire time. Electromagnetic waves, though they are created by electricity, can also affect magnets, such as in a compass, the needles of the compass will always point perpendicular to the wire that is emitting. So, solenoids are basically wires that are in a loop that connect each other that connect to other loops that create a greater magnetic field strength. Capacitors are small devices that could hold a large electricity. They're made of two conductors, each with the opposite charge, one with a positive and one with a negative. And they are put in like they are separated by an insulator which could store like a lot of energy and they're like really some of them are really small like even though they're really small they can still store a lot of energy This is the transformer. It transforms 120 volts from the wall outlet to 10,000 volts. This is the capacitor. It acts like a battery in that it stores electricity from the transformer and then rapidly releases it. This is the spark gap. It acts like the brain of the Tesla coil and it turns on and off whenever the capacitor is fully charged so that the maximum amount of voltage can go to the primary. This is the primary. It takes energy from the capacitor and the spark gap and runs it through the coil. This is the secondary. It collects the electromagnetic field from the primary and transforms it to a higher voltage and sends it to the top. This is the toroid. It collects electricity from the secondary and disperses it. Eyeballs, everyone. Be amazed. This is our Tesla coil.